Welcome to the very first video on our new channel. No friend left behind. I opened my print on demand Etsy shop just over three years ago, and I was on the struggle bus for about the first eight months, not making much money at all. And then finally, after eight months, I started to make some profits. But coming into my second and my third full year on Etsy, I was able to consistently pull in over $100,000 each year. So year before last, I made $107,000 profit and this past year, $162,000 profit. In less time than it would have taken me to go back to school to get another degree, I was able to launch and scale a business with zero business background to a business that is earning consistent six figures year after year. And I was able to quit my fourth grade teaching job and pursue this full time. You might imagine as that growth started, I was incredibly psyched. I was so excited. And as a result, I tried to recruit all of my friends and family members to start Etsy shop because I wanted them to be able to cash in on the same benefits that I was starting to enjoy. Shout out here to my sister-in-law, Danielle, who is the first one to join me in this Etsy journey and has worked very part-time on her shop and is able to pull in a consistent $1,500 a month. Also to my teacher friend, Carly, who just got serious about her shop this past year and was able to pull in $4,000 profit this past November. And then another shout out to my cousin, Jamie, and my teacher friends, Tracy and Tara, who have been working diligently on their shops and have anywhere between a couple of hundred sales to over a thousand sales in their shops. You might call me a bit of an Etsy cheerleader, I guess, because none of us have any background in design or making and selling stuff or in business, but here we are all able to start Etsy shops. And I just think having a platform like Etsy and an opportunity to do POD, which is print on demand, they, a company that prints your items for you and ships them out for you is an incredible opportunity. It makes owning your own business so easy and so not scary because you don't have to worry about inventory. You only buy your items as they are purchased in your Etsy shop. You don't have to worry about late nights making anything that someone has ordered or figuring out what could, what could you make. Although if you are handmade and you're watching this video, that's an amazing opportunity on Etsy also. But for me, that was really scary because I didn't know what I would have made. It's also not financially scary because it literally takes just 20 cents to get your items listed. My bestest friends in the whole wide world are Shay, Manny, Lanada, and Mike. And so of course I also wanted them to open shops. And after I got my first couple of sales, I even opened a shop for us all to work together in, thinking that might be easier to get everyone going. That one kind of fizzled out because we just weren't all ready to list and to put the, that effort in together at that time. Although I think that if you had some really good friends that were all kind of on the same page at the same time and you wanted to do that, that could be a really neat thing. But if not, just get your shop open and get going. Over the last three years though, they each did get their shops open. I mean, I am kind of relentless around here, constantly badgering them to get going with this Etsy thing. And they also have gotten to see my results firsthand. You can catch me anytime on my channel, Simply Shana, which I'll leave linked down in the show notes. But I'll also be posting one video a month over here on our No Friend Left Behind channel. And my friends, Shay, Lanada, and Mike will also be posting each month here as well. They are going to be documenting their Etsy journeys. They're gonna be letting you know how much effort they're putting into their shops, how many views, how many orders, how many sales they're getting each month. They're gonna be letting you know about the strategies that they're implementing, the successes they're having, the struggles they're having, and how they're dealing with those. We recently celebrated Lanada's 1,000th sale, and she did pull in almost $8,000 profit last year. Let's hear a little from Lanada. Hi guys, it's Lanada here. I know some of you guys already know me. You've seen me on Shauna's channel when she did that interview with me, but just for those of you that do not know me, I'm Lanada. <laughs> I started my shop sometime in 2021 and I didn't really do much with it. I put up a few listings. I think I was starting around the time of maybe 
Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, something like that. And so I opened up my own shop. I started putting some listings in and then it kind of fell off. So some family things happened. My father-in-law unfortunately died um, from COVID and that kind of just shook me and my husband's world and we got consumed by doing other things and life just gets in the way sometimes. And so every few months I would try to go back in the shop and add some more listings and try to do a little bit more, but it was just kind of falling through. Then in 2022, we went on a cruise together. We always try to do a summer trip, if not more throughout the year, but we did a cruise together and Shauna was just telling us how amazing everything was going and how excited she was and how everything was just growing and every month getting bigger. And she was even considering the following year quitting or maybe even that same summer. And I was just floored. I was like, okay, I, I really need to get started with this. And so when we got back from the trip, I was like, let me do this. Let me start putting some, some dis design, some listings. Let me start putting some things. And for two weeks straight, every single day, I put several things up. Were they the best, the best designs? Probably not, but I was consistent. And then one day I arrived to work, I'm in my office, I'm putting my things down, I grab my phone and I see a cha-ching. This was the beginning of August. I was like, what? I immediately FaceTimed Shauna early in the morning. I'm dancing in my office. I'm so excited. Only two weeks of being consistent, even though they weren't the greatest design. And I made a sale. I was so excited. And so I asked for her help on how to put it through and I'd never put a, an order through. So um, I was asking for her advice on that and telling her she was taking me step by step. And so I did that. And then I think a few weeks later, I got another sale. It was still slow. I think in October, I got another sale. I had maybe two or three sales a month. When I got to December, I got like, I think it was seven sales, seven orders on this one design, this Christmas themed design that, that I put through. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. It's increasing. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm going somewhere. Well, January tends to be slower after Q4, as I'm sure Shauna has told you guys. And so it definitely slowed down. I think maybe I got one sale. I think in February, maybe one. But at the end of February, I think literally like the last day, like February 28th, I got like a pretty big sale and it was on a newer design. And I was like, whoa. Now, mind you, in January, we started Etsy night with Shauna and she started helping us and giving us homework and advice and tips on what to do, what to do in our shop so that we can start growing and doing what she's doing. Once that at the end of February, I got those sales. March was mind blowing. Like, I think if you look at the graph, like it goes from like all the way to the bottom, like all the way to the top. It was a huge jump, huge, huge jump. April was pretty good. May was pretty good. Started to slow down. And I know in the summer it starts to slow down a bit, but I thought I was going somewhere. I thought it was starting to increase. I was doing way better designs. I was really following what Shauna was telling us. And so I was getting ready for Q4 starting in the summer. And uh, we were just all so excited. And even Shauna, like we both were like, okay, I think this is going to be an amazing fourth quarter. I, I really thought that I was going to make just in the fourth quarter. Now, maybe I was being a little bit extra with my numbers, but I was hoping to make 10,000 to 15, 20,000 profit just in Q4. Well, let's just say I didn't make that. <laughs> that did not happen. I'm not really sure where I went wrong yet. I haven't really looked into the shop or looked at designs and see what it was that maybe I was doing wrong, but that's where I'm at. I think in September I made about a thousand, my, th my thousand sale. I've made a few hundred sales since then. It's been really slow creeping up, but I'm getting still regular sales. It hasn't completely fallen for me. I'm putting up designs and I'm really looking forward to 2024 and what that's going to bring me. I think now with the tools that I already have from Shauna, but everything else with her guiding us and just doing this together, we also have that to motivate each other and to help each other. But I'm really looking forward to see what 2024 will bring. And I think this will be a really amazing year. I'm so excited to bring you guys along this journey. And I'm really excited for you guys to hopefully relate and we can cheer each other on and we've got this and let's go. 
Thanks, Lanita. And Manny, our other good friend, is Lanita's husband, and he's kind of behind the scenes, and she's hoping that he'll really help out with what we're expecting to happen this year when her shop blows up and she starts getting all these sales. Hey, guys. <laughs> we recently celebrated Shay's 100th sale. Let's hear from her. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shay here, and I'm gonna give you a little bit about my Etsy story. So I started my Etsy shop, my first Etsy shop, I've had two. I've started my first Etsy shop back in 2021, around November of 2021, and I started really putting some designs, some listings in my shop, and I was actually doing really well. I started off really strong. Fast forward to 2022, around March, uh, actually leading up to March, St. Patrick's Day. I had some designs for St. Patrick's Day in my shop and someone ordered several shirts. Now what happened is I didn't have a lot of reviews in my shop. I only had one review in my shop and I had maybe like 40 orders. So when this person decided to order these three shirts for St. Patrick's Day, they ended up going to the wrong address. So this person was not very happy about that, I get it. I refunded them their money. I even gave them a coupon. You know, I apologized profusely that that happened. And she gave me one star. And so what Etsy in turn did, they put my uh, shop on vacation mode, which doesn't allow for anybody to come into your shop and see your listings or anything like that. So I was very frustrated. I gave up on Etsy. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going, to just, I'm going to try something else. So I decided I wanted to go on, on my own venture and try something else. And it just, it was just one roadblock after another. It was just a pain in the butt. And months, months went by before I stopped and I realized, okay, Shauna's shop is doing amazing. So I know that it's something that's going to work and I know the platform and I know how it, well, I don't know exactly how it works, but I know that it can work. The end of 2022, about November of 2022, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I started putting some designs in for Christmas. They weren't the best designs, but that's okay. That's besides the point. Um, 2023 came around and I was gung ho and I dropped the ball. I guess I just didn't have it in me truly i think i was still very frustrated about my first shop i know i was very frustrated about my first shop being shut down um so i didn't put everything that i possibly could into it i did put some listings in um but i did not do nearly as many as i should have to get the results that i want well now here we are in 2024 and i am gung-ho i am constantly adding things into my shop i'm staying on top of uh, my shop I know we're just into 2024, but I'm still doing so much better than I was last year at this time. So here's to a very prosperous 2024. I know I'm gonna do amazing this year. I know that I'm going to succeed with Etsy this year, and that's because I have my mind in it and I know what I want, and I'm gonna go after it and I'm gonna get it. Thanks, Shay. Shay has had some pretty big bumps along her Etsy journey, so I'm really excited to see what this year brings for her. If you do want to hear more about that, she'll be sharing about them throughout the videos that she posts this year. Go ahead and take a second to go down and subscribe now if you haven't already, so you're sure not to miss any of that story. And Mike recently had his first sale on Etsy. He maybe took the most convincing of everyone to really jump on board this whole Etsy train, but he is ready to hit it hard this year. Let's hear from Mike. Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm going to take you through my Etsy journey. A few years ago, um, I started my Etsy shop. I opened it up and uh, started listing. I had about 40 listings, um, and I was ready to go until I wasn't. And then I stopped not too long after and just couldn't make time for it, didn't want to make time for it. Uh, I got home from work, and I the last thing I wanted to do was start designing or do research or start listing. And so for over a year, I didn't touch it. Shauna would talk about Etsy and how she was just growing exponentially each month, each week. And I was just like, well, that ain't me because I just don't have the energy or the time for it. Fast forward to um, just this December, maybe a little before December uh, 2023, I had started thinking about it and talking with Shauna and other friends. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this another go. 
Um, I really always wanted to do it. I just couldn't carve out enough time and didn't have the motivation to really um, choose that over sitting and watching Netflix when I got home. And so I actually started um, in December, started um, just the whole process over again. I basically had to start from scratch in how I was thinking, because if you don't do it on a regular basis, then you don't remember how everything goes. And so I started making designs and Shauna laid it out. Um, a, a little ways back, she started this saying, no friend left behind. And she said that if she had to drag us kicking and screaming, we were gonna do our Etsy shops, we we're gonna open, and we are gonna be successful and list consistently. And so right now I'm only at two sales, big number two, um, but I am excited about what's to come. Our mission on this channel is to inspire others. When we believe something is possible, we can accomplish so much. We hope that by sharing our journeys, the moments of success, the moments of frustration, the moments of confusion, that you will not feel alone in your journey. You will see it as a normal part of the process of improving yourself and maybe improving your situation in life. Bottom line is that when you know there is opportunity, you play different. You act differently. You make different decisions. You go harder. I had an opportunity on Etsy. Mike, Shay, Laneda, Manny, they have opportunities on Etsy. You have an opportunity. When you actually know the opportunity that is sitting before you with Etsy and put on a man, you know, why would you give 80% or 70%? Maybe knowing just how attainable the results are, how possible the results are, how powerful the opportunity is, why wouldn't you give 120%? The initial months are so hard. I think of those as the learning phase of your Etsy business. You're not gonna make any money in these months. You are going to give away massive amounts of time. So why keep going? Why push through that learning phase? Why give 120% every day for many days when you're getting nothing in return? You can't dictate how many views your listings are gonna get. You can't dictate if that potential customer is going to click on your item from search results. You cannot dictate if they will favorite it, if they were added to cart, if they will buy it. You cannot dictate your disappointment when things inevitably do not go as quickly as you had hoped. But you can dictate your effort. So why not always put 120% effort? Those other things, they will eventually fall into place. When I started my Etsy business, what I lacked in skill, and boy, did I lack a lot. What I lacked in skill, I made up for it in will. I constantly had the will to push forward and give 120% each and every month until it started to work. Because I knew and I believed wholeheartedly that I had opportunity, that there was opportunity on Etsy and that it could happen and it could happen for me. Being able to find the will to put 120% effort in starts with identifying your why. Why improve your life? What is driving you? What inspires you? If you don't know what your purpose is or your why, it will be very difficult to put that 120% effort into building your Etsy shop. Is it to be in a financial situation where you can help others or perhaps provide for your family or build a better life for yourself? Is it for self-growth and discovery as you learn how to literally build a business from scratch and see what you're made of through that process? Is it to create a future where you work for yourself and you have more flexible time to, sprint, to spend with friends and family? Or maybe it's to help financially in your home, make things easier for your partner, or perhaps help send the kids to private school. Maybe you're looking for a creative outlet and would feel really fulfilled being able to make some money, being creative and maybe inspiring others through that. Shay, what is your why? What's going to keep you going this year? I need financial freedom. Right now, I'm at a chokehold when it comes down to how much money that I make. And I only have so many hours in a day where I can work extra gigs. And I am working myself to the bone trying to make extra money. And I am still stuck underwater when it comes down to my bills. So for me... My why is I really enjoy making the designs. I really have a lot of fun making them. 
I want to become financially free. I want to be able to travel with my friends and spend more time with my loved ones. Lenita, tell us your why. <sighs> my why. So I think overall it will match, I think the majority of the friends in our little group. I want to be able to have a better life. I want to be able to help family if they need it. If my mom ever needs money for anything, to be able to do that for her. To be in a place where we don't have to worry about how we're going to pay things. We want to go somewhere. Can we afford it? Just all the things that I think that a lot of people struggle with financially. And I, I don't want to have to work a second or a third job to make those things happen and then just be outside of the home more. I'm a mental health therapist and funding here in Florida for mental health is not that great. Pay is not that great. Um, and if I want to make more money, I have to work more hours. I have to do more things to be able to do that. When with Etsy, I can work from home and be making that money and spending more time with my husband, spending more time with family. If we want to travel with our group, um, we can do that together and don't have to worry about time off and can I get that time? Can I afford it? Overall, the push is to have an overall better life. Whatever that ends up looking for, I, I don't know the future, but I think that it has the potential to give us something that I don't think that with what we're doing currently, we'll be able to necessarily achieve that. And if we do, it might take a really long time to achieve that. This, I think in the next few years, we can achieve what Shauna has achieved and be able to work from home and be able to spend more time with each other and with our family and our loved ones. And me and Manny, if we're able to have kids at some point, I would love to be able to be home and 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 spend more time with us as a family than being outside of the house and working so much and doing so many different things to be able to bring in money so for me financial stability financial freedom better life overall a peaceful life i the the older i get <laughs> the more experiences that i have had the more i want peace peace is just everything and I want to be around the people that bring love and, and light and just sunshine into my life and being able to have more time with them, I think would be great. We've traveled to Europe before and they have a beautiful mentality over there. And I remember one of the tour guides and one of the places we were one time said, we work to live here. We don't live to work. And I want to move towards that type of, lifestyle and so that's my why all really beautiful reasons to give 120 percent as for me once i saw my first youtube video talking about the opportunity that existed on etsy and with print on demand i was filled with hope hope that i could be less burdened financially as a public school teacher in south florida the future of my paychecks was looking pretty bleak and i was budgeting every paycheck to the penny and i was just tired the demands were growing, but the pay was not. Another why was that I simply wanted to be home more. I had to tutor every day into the late evening, and all I wanted to do after school was come home, be with my dog, and go for a run while it was still light outside. At first, all I was looking to do was supplement my teaching income so that I wouldn't have to tutor anymore. And while working on my Etsy shop, I started to become very proud of myself for not giving up. It was such a struggle in the beginning and I was getting absolutely nowhere month after month, putting hours and hours and making pennies per hour. And I really leaned into the building character piece of that. I started to um, be really proud of myself for building that sheer will to see something through. It became part of my why. I want you to take just a minute. Tell us what your why is down in the comments. So I know only a small percentage of people that hear me say this will actually go do it, but this is gonna be forever such a special video to us on this channel because it's our very first video. We will all definitely read every single one of your whys. After you come up with that why and you jot it down in our comments down below, 
write it down on a piece of paper or a sticky note. Put it somewhere where you're going to see it, whether it be on the refrigerator or you program your Alexa to remind you of this each morning. I've got my Alexa talking to me now. There are going to be days that you surely need to see your reminder. In exactly one year, we're going to release another video as an update to this video, and we're going to find out where everyone is 12 months from now. We know Lenita passed her thousandth sale and made nearly $8,000 profit last year. Lenita, where are you hoping to be in 12 months? Where do I think I'll be in 12 months? I would love to be anywhere in the range of $15,000 to $30,000 profit. If I do more, I would be ecstatic, but I would love to at least see fifteen dollars to $30,000 profit this year. So fingers crossed. Shay has passed her 100th sale. Shay, where are you hoping to be in 12 months? Where I see myself in the next 12 months is having 1,200 listings in my Etsy shop. I take that back. Actually, 2,000 listings in my Etsy shop. I'm also hoping to have at least $30,000 in my pockets. Fingers crossed on that. Um, and I hope to be able to spend more time with my friends, my loved ones, my family, because as of right now, I work so much just to stay ahead. So I want to have a good life and I want to be able to enjoy life a little more. Mike recently celebrated his first sale and has since gotten his second sale. Mike, where do you plan on being in 12 months? Where do I see myself a year from now? That's a good question. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I plan to list consistently. I hope that I have listed and listed and grown so much in this business that I can see a steady stream of income. How much income? How many sales? I don't even have a ballpark figure. Um, but I'm hoping that I can see um, something that will lay groundwork for the future, something that I can really be motivated by um, in my own shop. Um, in that I can see it growing and I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel is me not having to go to my nine to five every day and then come home and fall out onto the couch uh, because I'm so tired. I want to be able to have my own schedule. If I wanted to, to list on Etsy at two o'clock in the morning and sleep until noon, I'm going to do that. And I want to do that. And I want to, to make that happen. So that's that. Looking forward to taking this Etsy journey with you. As for me, I just pulled off $162,000 profit last year, 2023. In my shop this year, I am going into what I'm calling maintenance mode. And I will go more into that in the next video that I drop on this channel. But my hope is that I can maintain $162,000 profit this year with a whole lot less effort than what I've been putting in. If you are finding value from this video, I'm gonna ask you to be one of the very first boopers on this channel and to go down and boop the like button on this video. While you're down there, I think it would be so cool if you let us know where you would like to be in 12 months. Again, we're going to be doing that follow-up video in 12 months. And we are going to read every single one of these and we're going to be reaching out and verbalizing or reading these out in that video. What a great way to document what your thoughts are right now. Don't forget to go down there and let us know where you want to be in 12 months. You're speaking it into existence. This is what it is. Let's make it happen. Around here, there will be no friend left behind. We hope you'll join us in the next one.